Mr. President. Senator from Georgia. Yes, unanimous consent. The quorum call be vitiated. Without objection. Mr. President, I rise for a moment, and I'll be joined shortly by my colleague, the senior senator from Georgia, to pay tribute to a great American who passed this earth 40 years ago today. His name was Richard Brevard Russell, Jr. He was one of the handful of United States senators that everybody and every historian rates the finest of the United States Senate. And he was a great Georgian with an interesting past. He was elected to the state legislature in the 1920s and rose to be Speaker of the House of the Representatives in the state of Georgia. He then went on to be governor of the state of Georgia from 1931 to 1932. And during that time, he served as governor at the same time another gentleman was serving as governor of New York, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And they became good friends, and President Roosevelt even became a constituent of Senator Russell's because with his affliction, the Warm Springs, Georgia Springs, were a place for the then, then governor, soon to be President Roosevelt, would come to heal and get better and thank his good friend Richard Russell for his support. It was that relationship that brought Russell to be one of the first governors in the United States to come out and endorse Franklin Roosevelt for President of the United States. In his career in the United States Senate, Richard Russell served with Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He served with Harry Truman, eight years side by side with Harry Truman. He served under President Dwight Eisenhower. He served under President John F. Kennedy. He served under Lyndon Johnson. And in fact, in just a minute, I'll explain why he made Lyndon Johnson who he was. And finally passed away under the term of Richard Nixon's first term as President of the United States. But back for a second to Richard Russell and to Lyndon Baines Johnson. Lyndon Baines Johnson became the President of the Senate and later President of the United States. And in his own works, Lyndon Johnson credits Richard Russell with being the strength of his career as a United States Senator. In fact, so great was Senator Russell's control of the United States Senate that in a quote by Powell Moore, his press secretary a few years ago, he said when President uh, Kennedy gave advice to newly elected senators, he said the following, and I quote, if you want to learn how to be an effective senator, you should start by going to see Dick Russell. And that's exactly what Lyndon Johnson did. So good a friend with Lyndon Johnson was Richard Russell that every Sunday night in their careers in the Senate, Lady Bird would have Richard Russell over at the house to cook him dinner and just to thank him for what he'd done the week before for Lyndon Johnson. And as Lyndon Johnson grew in power, he kept beside him Richard Brevard Russell of Georgia. Richard Brevard Russell of Georgia is the greatest senator who have ever for, served from our state, and Senator Chambliss and I would be the first to tell you we're way back in the back of the line when you compare our record to his record. He was a great Georgian. He was a great American. When I was elected to the Senate and asked to pick an office, I said the only requirement I have would be in the Russell Senate Office Building because I wanted to serve in the same building named after the greatest senator ever to serve from our state. So on this day that marks the 40th anniversary of his passing, I want to leave this Senate floor by reminding America we had a great senator from Georgia whose lasting contribution to our country is indelible in the hearts and minds of our people. Richard Brevard Russell, a great American and a great Georgian, and the one to all of us owe a great deal of thanks and a great deal of credit. And I yield back and I yield back my time.